In this video, I lay out a step-by-step -step roadmap for you to go from a beginner to a robotics electrical engineer. Let's go! All right, let's jump right in. No, 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 hold on. I did not introduce myself. I'm Sina, a surgical robotics engineer, and I teach you how to become a robotics engineer in this channel. Step one, learn physics and math. The only topic in physics that you need to master as an electrical engineer is electricity and magnetism. As for math, you need to learn linear algebra and calculus. You're not good at math? Stop watching this video and go play Minecraft. Just kidding. Follow along and you'll find out how much math you need to learn. I've handpicked the best online courses, books, and other resources for each step of this roadmap. Please see the description box for links. Step two, learn programming languages. The programming language you need to master is C. C is a must know for any robotics electrical engineer. But why? Because low level electronics such as sensors speak in C. This is their language. Once you master C, start learning C++. However, just learn basics of C++ concepts such as class, objects, pointers, and references. But Sina, is that it? Well, you can start learning other languages, but remember, this roadmap is all about essential and core skills that if you pick up, will give you a solid background to start your career. Step three, learn how to design robots electrical components. Robots, just like humans, have vision, sensory system, brain, and muscles, which are designed by robotics electrical engineers who have mastered the following skills. Circuit design, PCB design, sensors, microcontrollers, and DC motors. Circuit design is the core concept every electrical engineer needs to know. You remember I said you need to learn physics? Nope. This is where it's used. PCB design goes hand in hand with circuit design. But what is PCB? PCB is an acronym for printed circuit board. It's a board that has lines and pads that connects various components to each other. What CAD tools are used for PCB design? Altium Designer and Cadence are the most common PCB design tools used in the robotics industry. As a robotics electrical engineer, you need to be familiar with different types of sensors, know how to select the right sensor, design sensor circuits, and write firmware for the sensor. Microcontrollers are robots' brain. A microcontroller is basically a computer which consists of memory, a processor, as well as input-output interfaces. They receive input data from sensors, process them, make decisions, and send commands to robot muscles. As a robotics electrical engineer, you'll design custom microcontroller and write software onto it. All right, now let's talk about DC motors. Motors are robot muscles. Your job will be to select the right motor for the robot, design motor control circuits, and implement position, speed, and torque control for them. Step four, learn image and signal processing. The signals you receive from robot sensors, such as cameras or accelerometers, are usually noisy and need to be pre- and post-processed. This is where you use image processing and signal processing techniques to sample, filter, and transform the signals. Did you say you're good at math? Nope. Good for you, because here is where you can show off your knowledge of calculus and linear algebra to your peers. Okay, now is the time for a surprise giveaway. Count the number of times I said electrical engineer in this video and DM me on Instagram for a chance to win a free 20 minute coaching session with me, which is worth $35. Learn robot control and robot kinematics. But what is robot control? Robot control is what Boston Dynamics engineers use to program these beautiful dance moves onto the Atlas and a spot robot to the Do You Love Me song. So robotics electrical engineers are usually in charge of developing a control system for a robot. As I've said before, PID controllers are the most common type of controllers used in robotics. And that's why the course I picked for you focuses on PID controllers. To implement a control system for a robot arm, you need knowledge of robot kinematics as well. The key concepts to learn are rigid body transformation, forward kinematics, and inverse kinematics. But what is kinematics? Kinematics is what was used in the Boston Dynamics dance to calculate angles the Atlas joints need to have in order for the robot wrist to go to a predefined position and orientation in a space. 